Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs. One day, their mother said to them, My babies, you've all grown so big. Isn't it time you built your own houses? And so the three little pigs left their home. The oldest of the pigs met a man carrying a great load of straw. I have to build a house, said the pig. May I have your straw? The oldest pig wasted no time building himself a house of straw. He was quite happy with it. Nothing's warmer than straw, said the pig. The middle pig met a man carrying a big bundle of sticks. I have to build a house, said the pig. May I have your sticks? The middle pig wasted no time building himself a house of sticks. He was quite happy with it. Nothing's cozier than wood, said the pig. The youngest pig met a man carrying a large stack of bricks. I have to build a house, said the pig. May I have your bricks? The youngest pig wasted no time building himself a house of bricks. Nothing sturdier than brick, said the pig. One day, a wolf came upon the house made of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me in, said the wolf. But the piggy oinked. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This made the wolf very angry, so he shouted, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And that's exactly what he did. Eek! squealed the little piggy, and he ran all the way to the middle pig's home. The wolf arrived shortly thereafter, saying, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the piggy point, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This made the wolf very angry, so he shouted, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And that's exactly what he did. Eek! squealed the little piggies, and they ran all the way to the youngest pig's home. The wolf arrived shortly thereafter, saying, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the piggy oinked, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This made the wolf very angry, so he shouted, Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But the house of bricks didn't so much as budge. Now the wolf was furious, so he scrambled up on the roof and tried to climb down the chimney. When the littlest pig heard the noise, he told his oldest brother, put a pot in the fireplace and fill it with water. And that's exactly what he did. Then he told the middle pig, quickly, light the fire. And that's exactly what he did. Soon the water in the pot was boiling hot. Just as the wolf came down the chimney, the pigs pulled the lid off their pot. Right into the pot went the wolf. Kersploosh! <coughs> the three little pigs had never seen a wolf run quite so fast, and they never saw that wolf ever again. The end.